Hello everybody, and welcome to the world's first design video from Caleb himself. Caleb Curry. Yes, my name, last name is Curry. No, I'm not related to Stephen Curry. So as mentioned at the end of the last video, we're going to be trying to build something like this over the next couple of episodes where you have employees. You can go in and edit their data and it'll automatically show up on the webpage after you submit. There's a lot of different ways you could do this. I'm gonna show you the quick and easy way without any prior design experience. And that is by copying other people. Kidding, but I'm kind of serious because we're going to be using Tailwind and they have a lot of good examples that you can pretty much just copy, paste in your code, modify a few things. And what I like about Tailwind is it's not some massive thing you have to learn. I was like, scared to learn it because I hate learning new frameworks every five minutes and new things like that. But pretty much they just use classes that are directly associated with CSS rules. So by learning Tailwind, you're also learning plain CSS. So nothing new that's magical. It's all pretty self-explanatory. You just have to combine CSS rules the right way to create something fairly cool. And I know this isn't the most amazing, beautiful app you've probably ever seen, but it's a good start to teach React principles. But man, I am talking way too much, so let's just jump in and get started. How to install Tailwind CSS with a React application. So Tailwind has a guide on installing Tailwind CSS with Create React App. Now, we already did this step, Create React App. We already did that. So now we just have to go down to this step where we install Tailwind. So let's go ahead and copy this line here. Then from our terminal in our project, and actually I'm going to commit our changes before installing Tailwind so you can get a fresh start if you've been following along from the beginning of the series. Playlist link down below in the pinned comment. So we can get to this point because I'm going to commit this with the message getting ready for CSS. So now you can get the exact same files from the GitHub repo which is located right there. All right, so let's go ahead and install Tailwind. Go ahead and grab this next line, which will initialize some junk, specifically tailwind.config.js and postcss.config.js. Pasting that here. And now we configure our template paths. Add the paths to all of your template files in your tailwind.config.js file. So from our file list, we can go to tailwind.config.js and we can pretty much copy what they have from the install instructions. So we will take this here paste it here and save. And this will grab any JavaScript files in any subdirectory of the source folder. So it should include our components. Next up, we just have to go in and copy these three lines, which will import all the essential Tailwind styling. And then all we have to do is run our application like normal and apply classes to things we want to style. So we will paste that here in app.css. You can also use index.css, either one. I ended up removing that file. So we just have app.css and that is imported into our JavaScript file here. Let's go ahead and try this out. We'll just say something like background red, 300, save. I think with installing a new package, we will just restart the server. And there we go. We can now see that there's this light pink background. That little white section is the input. That's why it looks like it's missing something. All right, so that is a summary on how to get things installed. Just a quick review on that. All you have to do is after creating your application, so you don't have to do anything special when you create it, you just install, you initialize, you say where your JavaScript files are, and then you add the Tailwind directives to your CSS. I'm just going to make one change, and that is just to adhere to the proper naming structure here with index.css. It should work fine with app.css because it's the CSS for the outermost component. Typically throughout React, you will see CSS files associated with the component files as well. So you can think of these as kind of paired. So since I don't need app component specific styling, I'm just going to rename this to index.css and then update our import here to index.css. If you just jumped in and you haven't been following along from the beginning of the series, then you may have already used Create React App and you already have an index.css. In that case, you can just use that file. All right, so we have Tailwind installed. Now let's talk a little bit about how it works. Put simply, Tailwind CSS just abstracts the core CSS rules and replaces them with classes. And this makes it a lot easier. So for example, we could type in to their documentation, background color, 
which is the one we just used, and it'll give you some class options and the associated CSS properties. So for example, any of these, we could take these CSS properties and apply them to our different elements. You could do it in a CSS file, or if you just want to experiment, you could go over to your application and paste this in somewhere. So let's go ahead and apply it to say this paragraph here. You can click that and then in the element style, paste that in and that's pretty much it. I like this because there's not a lot of magic going behind the scenes. You just have to find the right classes to apply to your elements and you can find the exact associated CSS rules if you wanted to use plain CSS. So some other options on here, there's borders, effects, filters, tables, trend, there's all kinds of stuff on here, but you can search pretty much any CSS thing you might want, such as display, and you can see the different options on here, or margin, and you can see it's M-0 for zero margin, or you can replace it with some number. And you can see it can be a lot simpler because you can do something instead of margin left this and then margin right that, you can just say margin X is one x being the x-axis. Same thing for the y-axis, margin top and margin bottom. If you're familiar with Flexbox or Grid, they have all of that on here as well. So you can type in Flex and you can get some of the examples here. Once you're done styling on build, all of your rules will be transformed into a build.css file. So you can see that over in your code if you run npm run build. Taking a look at our built CSS file, obviously not quite as pretty as the example they gave, but this is going to save on space. You can see our background color right here. That's your basic intro on getting Tailwind installed inside of a React application. The next episode, we're going to take some of these classes and apply them to our website so we can get more of that card look with the different employees. That's pretty much it. So see you in the next one.